How to set up AI wave attacks using triggers and waypoints. Let's go to the editor. I'm going to go to Altus. And then we're going to go to the map and we're going to go to this location. We're going to place a player up in this tower and put him in the corner just to hide him from the enemy. And that's all we need to do with him. So today, I'm going to show you guys two ways you could set up AI wave attacks with triggers and waypoints. The first way is with waypoints. We're going to go to F2 groups, then to OP4. OP4 is going to be our enemy. And we're going to place a squad. This is going to be FIA, infantry, and an assault squad. I'm going to turn them around. Then we're going to give these guys three waypoints. Give them a starting waypoint, a midway point, and then a waypoint where they're going to basically attack the uh, barracks building where the player is at. And then we're going to set this to seek and destroy. Make sure this is about halfway. The idea here is to have squads like this that overlap each other. You time the movement of the squads using the waypoints. Instead of recreating the squad, give them new waypoints, and then repeating it several times, we're just going to highlight these guys and the waypoints, and then press Control C, and then we're going to set every squad offset of the previous squad. Control V, and then the idea here is to line up the second waypoint of every squad to the first squad. This distance here is what's going to create the wave effect, if you want to call it that. We're going to move these guys about here. And then the next squad, we're going to move up about here. And the next squad, move these guys about here. So now you have five squads that are going to attack this little barracks compound. Now before we take the seek and destroy waypoints for each squad and set them to this area, we're going to first set up an activation for each one of these waypoints. So we're going to go to the second waypoint here and we're going to go to set waypoint activation and we're going to connect this to the first waypoint of the next squad. When this squad reaches this waypoint, then it'll activate the waypoint for this squad to start moving. And then we're going to do the same for this, for the next squad. We're going to set the waypoint activation on the second waypoint. And then we're going to go to the first waypoint, which is the starting waypoint of the next squad. Repeat the following. And then we're going to take this waypoint activation and set it to the first waypoint of the next squad. And then we're going to go to the second one here. And then set waypoint activation to the squad back here. Now this guy doesn't get one because there's nothing behind him. So, so next we basically carry these waypoints all the way to the objective for them. We're going to go to F5, place a flag. The reason why we're placing the flag is we're going to put the flag by each second waypoint. What it's going to do is basically give us some feedback on when each squad is reaching their waypoints. So we're going to make this flag marker red so we can better see it. And then we're going to copy it. And we're going to place the marker by each second waypoint. That way we know when each squad reaches their uh, second waypoint. Next, we're going to just save this. I'm going to put this on Altus. We're going to name this AI underscore attacks. And then we're going to save that and let's check it out. We're going to go to spectator. And then we're going to go to the map. And we're going to zoom in. Now when this first squad reaches this flag, which is their second waypoint, this squad is going to move. 
and there they go. And when this squad reaches their second waypoint here, it's going to basically enable these guys to go. And there, there, there they go. And same thing. Once these guys reach their waypoint here, then these guys will go. And there we go. And once these guys reach their waypoint here by the flag, then these guys will go. And there you go. And if we just go to the map view, so we got two squads here. And there you have it. Alright, let's go back to the editor. And now I'm going to show you guys a second way to do this. We're just going to start new. It's going to be the same thing, but we're going to start new. We're going to go to triggers. And we're going to go to 100. I'm going to place it right about here. And we're going to make the trigger rectangle. We're going to make the size 10. And then we're going to set the activation to 04 present. And that's it. And then we're going to go to the area widget and resize this. And make sure it's kind of like that. And then next we're going to go to F2 groups. And same same thing, we're going to go to FIA, Infantry, Assault Squad, turn them around. And then we're going to give these guys a waypoint. Same number of waypoints. Halfway. And then here. The waypoint straight. What we're going to do with this trigger is the trigger, this trigger is not going to come into play until we have a second squad. So we're going to just copy these guys. Actually, did we set that? No, we got to set this to seek and destroy. Okay, so we're going to copy these guys, including the trigger. Press Control C. And then we're going to go Offset. Control V. And with the trigger, since it's an area trigger, we don't want the squad in front of the squad that's going to go to a trigger to be activated so we have to have it behind the first squad we're going to place another squad put these guys behind the trigger actually I'm going to go a little closer like that and then I'm going to move these guys so they're not going to trigger to trigger and then we're going to create another squad. Out there. And then our last squad will be back here. Alright, so now we got five squads. And we're going to start down here. And we're going to set waypoint activation using the trigger this time. And then we go to the first waypoint click on the trigger set the act waypoint activation to the f next squad's first waypoint set waypoint activation and actually this last squad does need a trigger so now we're going to set their waypoints so that they reach the barrack. The barracks where the player's at. Alright, so as you can see, the first squad is it's going to create like a domino effect. So once they trigger this, 
it activates these guys waypoint and once they reach that trigger for around their second waypoint it's going to activate these guys to move and so on next we're going to put flag markers like we did last time and we're going to put them by the uh, second waypoint make it red so it's better visible and we're going to copy that and this is just to tell us when they're going to go through the uh, trigger so we're going to save that and let's test it out we're going to go to spectator and then we're going to go to the map so this first squad they reach the trigger and it's going to activate these guys' waypoints. And once these guys reach the trigger here, it's going to activate the waypoint for this squad. Move up. And there they go. Next on the wave, once these guys reach this trigger, these guys will move. It'll activate these guys' waypoint. Move left. There they go. And then the next squad, once they reach this trigger, Move 75 meters. Right. go through it, it's going to activate the squad for these guys, their waypoint. So as you can see, each trigger is being activated by the, the squad that enters the trigger previously. So the distance between each squad buys the player time because there's so much space between each wave, each squad. So this is pretty simple. No code or anything involved, just basic waypoints and triggers. For more tutorials, take a look at this playlist.